Good day, folks. Everything new under the sun. This is an unbox and review of the TG5 silicone jacket for the Olympus TG5 camera. Now, I got this off, I believe it was Amazon.ca. Um, it was about $50. It is hugely overpriced for what it is. This is specifically for the TG5. These are form fit. So they go over the specific buttons of the specific camera that you have. Now, in terms of the case, I mean, it's a really uh, cheap uh, plastic case itself around the silicone. The silicone jacket really should be, you know, a $5 item. There's no reason for it to be $50 other than you can't really buy anything else. There's no other companies that I see with it. Uh, and like I say, it is for fit. It's, it's uh, matching up to all the buttons, and that's what it's meant for. This particular one is kind of clear, translucent. And you'll see after in the images that it almost makes the camera look just plain gray, but it is actually translucent. This uh, model version is the CSCH-126GRY for gray, I guess, and they call it a gray one. In the inside of the box, they do show you how to put it in, but I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. You kind of put it in the biggest hole uh, that you can find there. I sped it up a little bit to save you watching the fuss and the, and the sliding on of the silicone jacket, uh, but just uh, take your time. It does get on there. It does fit very well. Now, the first time I put it on, I put it over top uh, my light guide uh, ring and also over top a little clip I had uh, for a little gorilla tripod on the bottom. You can see in a second that I go ahead and, and uh, rethink the whole light guide thing, but there I'm looking at the buttons, looking at the form and fit and seeing what I can press or and, you know have access to easily and uh, just kind of smushing it into place. It does take a little bit of uh, massaging to get a silicone jacket around the camera properly. Um, yeah, I do in the next clip uh, have uh, show me uh, basically removing the light ring and putting it on because the light ring can actually uh, go over top the silicone jacket. And I was looking at that. I was when I did a review of the the light guide, I noticed there's a big gap between the body and a light guide itself. And I don't know if it was meant for uh, the silicone uh, jacket to be on it. Here I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, huh, that doesn't look very nice. So I go ahead, I, I sped it up again. I didn't, didn't want you to labor through this, but uh, I took the, the ring off, let the silicone jacket snap into place, and uh, then I put it back on. So that's actually how it's supposed to be. It's nice and fit and flush. It, uh, it's very uh, form, very much formed to um, the, the shape and the contours of the camera itself. I'm looking at it now, I'm holding it in my hand as I'm doing the voiceover and it's it's nice and tight, it's not sloppy by any stretch. I mean you you get what you pay for and you know it's certainly a very well fitting silicone jacket. So then the, the next thing I, I'm thinking about is uh, you know how do the buttons work? There it is with the light guide turned on and just what it looks like. Um, but in terms of uh, having it on uh, on the camera itself it uh, makes it much more grippier. It doesn't make it as bulky as I was, uh, as I feared it would. It doesn't make it any bulkier, really. It's very, uh, very thin silicone, um, but it does give it a nice uh, sticky feeling. That's sticky, but grippy feeling, uh, and it also kind of adds a bumper to all the corners. So if you drop this thing, it's going to be uh, much less harmful to it. Now I also had the. What was it? The Abunta, the Abunta screen protector. I forget what it's called, but the Abunta screen uh, protector is on it. Right? Afunta, that's what it is. A F U N T A. So I do have the screen screen protector on, but uh, I'm looking at it now in my hands, and the silicone jacket actually has a rim around the uh, monitor. You can kind of see it there in the video, where it sticks out past. So when you set it down on the monitor side, uh, the the gel, uh, the silicone jacket does hold. The screen off the ground, which is perfect because without the um, silicone jacket, without the Afanta screen protector, uh, this thing literally sits on the plastic monitor. And the last one I had got all scratched up. You can see the cutouts for the doors. You have access to all the doors. You have access to the tripod mount. All the buttons are there. Um, it, it's quite well. It's a new hole I found on the bottom. I don't even know what, the, what that's for. That must be in there, microphone or, or something. I'm not sure. Uh, but there you go. Now here's some still images of it yourself itself, and you can see kind of the, the shutter button on there, the access to the zoom functionality and the band and how it form fits around uh, the light guide. All in all, it's it's very well. It, it takes a bit to uh, get used to the buttons again uh, for how to turn it on. you got to press the on-off a little bit harder to get through the silicone. Um, the the logging button, on-off logging button is, is, uh, is uh, usable. 
And of course the dials are completely open and exposed, uh, which you really need. You can't have them under silicone. So overall I give this uh, silicone jacket a two thumbs up. Although the price is absolutely horrendous, it should be about $5. It's definitely a good add-on so that you uh, don't bump and scratch your $500 uh, Olympus Tough TG5 camera. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video.